Hello everyone and welcome to the next installment of Kid Gloves Marketing Monday. Um, I am your host for this Marketing Monday. I know you've seen quite a few of us and hopefully you're all back at it after a nice holiday weekend and enjoying this lovely spring weather that we're getting. Um, so today, um, as you're getting back to the office and perhaps not everyone is back at your desk yet, you might be digging into some of your to-do list. And so I thought today I would help cover something that might be on your to-do list. But before we do that, I will introduce myself. My name is Katherine Warren. I am the Chief Operating Officer at Kid Glove, a boutique advertising agency in Nebraska, helping change makers do what they do to change the world. Um, I focus on our community well-being area of focus, where we help those in the public health industry, uh, behavioral health industry, community health industry, such as recycling organizations, spread their important messages to the audiences that need to hear them most. So creating that education and awareness to audiences that are in need of the resources that um, you provide. So we help a lot of change makers in this area. And this is our area of focus for today. So on your to-do list, probably always as a uh, grant funded agency, is how do you report on the success of your education and outreach to your grantors? And today we're going to focus specifically on how do you report on your demographics that you need to reach through your grant using Google Analytics. So how do you show your grantor using the reporting on Google Analytics that you're hitting those target people that you're looking to educate? So whether that's age, uh, ethnicity, certain language spoken, we can get all that information through our Google Analytics. So going to dive into that just a little bit here today with the caveat that this is base level Google Analytics reporting. There are people that go to classes for this, that get certified in this. There are all types of details that you can get through Google Analytics, but to get that base level reporting for your grantor, it's not that hard. So first we'll talk about age and gender. So those are two key pieces to a lot of grant reporting. What ages are you trying to reach? What genders are you trying to reach? And you can get both of that pieces of information through Google Analytics, but here's the tricky part. You have to set it up first. So when you're in Google Analytics and you click on the demographics menu option, it won't automatically pull this information for you without you giving Google permission to do so. So step one is to hit that permission button and say, yes, I want to gather this information. And then in about a week, you'll start to see those results come through and be able to see what age ranges and uh, which gender are visiting your website the most. Having said that, there are a few caveats. Google does not track people under the age of 18, so you'll have to rely on how you're getting traffic to your website to report on those ages um, less than 18, whether that's through social media or digital advertising, you can report on what you're targeting there. But through Google, it's uh, 18 and above. The other key piece to this is to know that Google does not know this information about everyone who visits your website. So it's a sampling of your website visitors, ages, and genders, but still enough to communicate to your grantor that you are reaching the people that you're hoping to reach uh, with your information. So that is a key piece of that uh, grant reporting. And again, you're probably going to get about 10 to 20 percent of your website visitors, but enough to show, yes, we're using this targeting to get these people to our website, and as a matter of fact, they are visiting our website. So that is number one tip. Number two tip is languages spoken. So in Google Analytics, you can also choose a menu option that shows you which languages people who are visiting your website speak. So this is will allow you to show on your grant reporting um, if, you, if you are looking to reach Spanish-speaking individuals. 
Chinese speaking individuals, whatever language that you're looking to reach, you can show that through Google Analytics. A few caveats here. Google uses its own language when it comes to the acronyms it uses to tell you what languages people are speaking that reach your website. So you will have to do a little Googling uh, to find this information, but it's pretty easy to find. So you can see the EN code means English. So Google Analytics reports in these codes that um, equate to each of the languages. So you'll just have to do a little Googling uh, to find that information. But then you can use that to report on what language speaking individuals are reaching your website. And of course, we want to make sure that our websites are a welcome mat for those individuals that speak those other languages. So that's when you want to consider translation services on your website as well and make sure that you have those running. And then those Google Analytics can back up that the folks that speak those languages are finding value in the content that you're providing. So we can track age, gender, uh, language spoken, and we can also track location. So most grants are funded based on an area of the country. And so you want to ensure that you're reaching as many people in that targeted area as possible. And again, you can use Google Analytics to report on this location. A few caveats here. There will be people outside of your targeted location that visit your website. That is just a piece of the puzzle. But what we want to make sure is that the percentage is higher in the locations that you're looking to reach than in other locations. Now that percentage of people that are in your location too is a sampling. It's not going to be 100% of the people that visit your website. People can set privacy settings on their computer that does not allow Google to to access their location information. So you won't be able to get the location of every individual. Also, those locations can vary. Uh, Google might be tracking the computer's address. It might be tracking um, a Google account that was set up when someone lived in another location. So if people have moved around, um, they could be reporting that they still live in another state when in actuality they live in the state that your grant is targeting. So again, it's a sort of take it with a grain of salt, but with enough information to provide your grantor a nice idea, a snapshot of where your website visitors are coming from, knowing that the information isn't fully accurate. But again, we just are hoping that that percentage in your targeted area is as high as it can be. So those are the top demographics tips for using Google Analytics to report on the success of your grant. Now, in future Marketing Mondays where we're talking community well-being, we'll get into some other cool features that Google Analytics offers to make uh, grant reporting very easy. And quickly, I'm going to add one more little bonus tip here, and that is the one unfortunate piece about uh, Google Analytics. It makes it very easy to get this tracking information. However, it's not overly easy to download that information and provide it on a report. So what I do for my clients here at KidGlove is I screenshot each of those pages that we talked about today and put them in a document to provide for the grantors. So that makes it easy and you get the nice cool uh, graphics and grids on Google Analytics without having to get into any fancy um, downloading software or whatnot. Just screenshot those pages, put them in a Word document or a PowerPoint and send them on their way. So I hope you found this helpful. I hope perhaps it checked off a little bit more of your to-do list for the day. And I look forward to sharing with you in the future lots more uh, grant reporting information that will help you report on the success of your initiatives to your grantor. In the meantime, if you'd like to learn more about KidGlove, you can visit the Community Wellbeing web website at kidglove.com slash communitywellbeing. Thanks so much for your time today and have a wonderful rest of your day. Bye-bye.